Hello and welcome to another 3ABN Today Live. We're so glad that you have joined us this evening. One of the reasons is you're part of the 3ABN family and we Amen. always enjoy spending these two hours with you each Thursday evening, especially these behind the scenes program, a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. It's about what the Lord is doing through the ministry, your ministry, 3ABN. And it's amazing to me, you think about this, we're here at the edge of Thompsonville, West Frankfurt, and Mr. Danny, I know we haven't introduced everybody yet, but Mr. Danny, it's amazing when you think about the technology for almost 40 years, yeah. 3ABN has been broadcasting from this area, reaching the entire world through satellite, mm -hmm. radio, television, internet, absolutely incredible. And we do thank you for your prayers, your continued prayers, mm -hmm. and your continued support of 3ABN. It's uh, without you, we wouldn't be able to reach the world. So praise the Lord. Amen. Tonight we have an exciting full program. Second hour, we're going to tease to that right now. We have some people who just returned from ministering in oh, prison. Yes. And we're going to talk about some amazing opportunities that the Lord is opening up there to get the gospel in even greater ways mm -hmm. to those who are incarcerated. This hour, we're going to be talking about some exciting places where we came from, different rallies and where we're heading, some new programming mm -hmm. that's launching from Kids Network right. on 3ABN as well as so many other things. Camp meeting that's coming up we want to talk to you about, mm -hmm. but maybe we should talk about our family here. Mm, absolutely, let's do that. Yay, Mr. Danny, Dr. Yvonne. Mm -hmm. So grateful to have you here. Thank tonight. you. We always love being here with our family and with those of you at home. Mm. It's a privilege. What a time to be alive. Oh, incredible. Yes, Those are moments of Earth's history. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking earlier before the program, and I realize I've done my math, as a friend of mine once told me, you know, our age when you get over 70. But I thought, I never thought that, you know, when we started 3ABN, that nearly 40 years later, mm. that we would never, and, and I've never lost the, the love and the zeal and the, mm. the, the vision and the dream. So I still feel like I'm 33. I That's may great. look 103, <laughs> We're thankful. but I feel like, uh, you know, 33 when it comes to the ministry of 3ABN and the opportunities to literally reach the world. And it's just, it, it's an exciting time to be alive. So mm -hmm. if I died tomorrow, I have no uh, regrets mm -hmm. other than, you know, as far as this world, but the next thing you see is Jesus Amen. at the second coming. I mean, how can you beat it? You can. Amen. What a privilege to be a Christian in these closing moments of Earth's history. Amen. Amen. Absolutely. And the behind the scenes is so fun because I love to see and hear what's going on at 3ABN. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're here, but as we, it's just like really exciting. It reinforces the, the joy because you just hear mm -hmm. like, we're doing this, that, this, that. And it's just, to me, it's amazing what God is doing with this Amen. ministry. So what a privilege it is to be a part of it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Absolutely. To share it with you. The table. And to share oh, that's you. right. And to be in ministry right. together, yeah. together. Yeah. Right. as spouses or as family. What mm -hmm. a gift. Mm -hmm. Coming around the table, Aunt Francine. This is Francine Bergman, who's oh, our yes. Kids Network General Manager. And your spouse, Jason, our CFO, is not on with you, but we're so grateful to mm -hmm. have you both as part of the family. Amen. Thank you. It's a blessing. At, we've, we've grown so much in the fact that you put your trust in God. You just yeah. see miracles upon miracles happening. And that's wonderful to talk about behind the scenes what's really happening because that's only a portion of really what's happening and taking, mm -hmm. that, uh, it, taking a little bit, you know, going forward. But there are so many ministries in... 3ABN that That's we right. also mm -hmm. promote or, or, or let you know about. And so this is a big testimony of what God's doing. I mean, he's in the mission of really reaching the world. Amen. Amen. Thank you for what you're doing. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Coming around the table again, closest to me, my mom. I got a couple of moms <laughs> off here tonight. Uh, Shelly Quinn, my sister in Christ. I remember someone, Pastor John came back from Singapore and he said, they all believe you and Shelly are truly sisters, but we're well, sisters in Jesus. In Christ. So, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shelly, of course, is program development manager and producer. And your other half is going to be on the, uh, J.D. Quinn is going to be on the second hour, I think. So we're glad you're here. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to be here. And we just want to thank you at home so much for your support, your prayer support. I get people who are emailing and texting and saying, we pray for you and all of the staff at 3ABN every day. That means a lot because when you're on the front line, we will all testify to this. The devil doesn't, he's relentless, is he not? Oh yeah, <laughs> constant. But, but it is so exciting to see what God is doing through mm -hmm. 3ABN. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. we thank you for your mm -hmm. part in it. You're our family too. Amen. Amen. You know, and talking about family, I know we're going to go to some music here next, but uh, talking about family, 
I just saw some uh, people coming through 3ABN this week, uh, getting a little tour, and we want to invite you to come on down, come on up, come on over, however that is. <laughs> yeah. The 3ABN, we do tours Monday through Thursday. You're welcome to come through, see these studios where Absolutely. we're doing this program from. You, we've got the sound center, call center. We'd love to, of course, come out if we're in the area, not traveling, to come out and say hello to you and greet you. But you're just welcome to come here for a 3ABN right. tour. I know, Jill, with uh, COVID, it kind of shut a few things down. A lot of people didn't travel, but uh, our doors are wide open. We'll be talking about camp meeting in just a little bit. But when camp meeting is not happening, come on over. We'd be happy to, uh, get, again, show you your ministry, 3ABN, what God is doing from the corn, corn fields, soybean fields of Southern <laughs> Illinois. It's just absolutely an, an incredible miracle. Mm -hmm. And even though the uh, Uplink building, Mr. Danny, has been retired, we don't do broadcast yeah. from that anymore. We've taken a few people over there just to show the outside where that miracle, the three-phase power is, that big satellite dish is still there where the person in a pickup yeah. truck or car was trying yeah. to run it over. Um, that um, dish is still there. The original transmitter shack is still yeah. there where yeah. people are answering phones outside the door because it's so noisy inside the transmitter room. All that's there. We'd love to show you those things from the outside. But God is a miracle working God mm -hmm. then and he is now and we know for the future he's going to do the same thing. So we are excited, like you mm -hmm. said, Mr. Danny, Amen. to be alive at this moment in Earth's history. Amen. We've got some great music too. No we do CD. indeed. We have the Chaitin family. All I right. always love when you have families who sing together. Yes. Because you get that incredible family harmony. I think we first saw them at ASI and then they came in here to 3 b and recorded and the song they'll be ministering is Just What I Need. Sinai he was the great I am to Elijah chariots coming down and when Daniel said I will not bow he was a good night's sleep he was Joseph's dream in a prison bag he was Noah's safety in the ark and to a widow all she'd ever need just what I need when the bell around me rages just what I need when the storm winds round me blow and when my soul is dry and thirsty he's a fountain flowing what I need. He was David's song on a hillside night. He was Peter's shadow passing by to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He was their dearest friend. And he was a raven sent to Elijah's head. To the children of Israel, he was dry land. And on Calvary's cross, he became that flow that washed me white as snow. Just what I need when the battle around me rages. Just what I need when the storm winds round.
Uh, amen. Praise amen. the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. A great Beautiful. song and great musicians. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I love it. Great message and music, that too. That little southern gospel <laughs> feel it to does. it. Very much so. <laughs> and that good family harmony, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do. Amen. Talking about camp meeting, should we go to camp meeting, shall yes. we? Sure. We mentioned camp meeting coming up soon. It's in June. June 5 through yes. 8. And we want you all to come on down. Oh, There's a yeah. lot of people who've already called in and made their reservations for RVs. So we're super excited about mm -hmm. this camp meeting. Absolutely. So mark your calendar. Wednesday, June the 5th, it starts. And it goes through Sabbath. June the 8th. Our overarching theme is preparation for the final crisis. Mm -hmm. Let me go through, and I've got to tell you, we're going to have some wonderful music. I know you'll probably touch on this okay. some more. Mm -hmm. Larry Gatlin's going to be here for the wow. opening hour of music, yeah, which amazing. is, he has become a strong Christian. It's so exciting. But let me give you some of these uh, titles. Uh, can we trust Bible prophecy, Satan's great lie, God's astonishing rescue plan, the beast wars against the saints, overcoming the dragon mm -hmm. through surrender to God's love, signs of Christ soon coming, three unclean spirits, the doctrines of demons, final reformation in the ceiling, the latter rain and the loud cry, the great shaking, mm -hmm. fallen Babylon and the mark of the beast, the close of probation, the time of trouble and earth's final crisis, Christ's second coming, mm -hmm. soul search, are we prepared to meet God, facing the future without fear, and then I don't have your title. Well, it, it, <laughs> it, it's one of those that it. changes all the time. <laughs> okay. uh, I know what you're saying. Yeah, we, but let me share who's going to be here speaking. Uh, we have eight guest speakers. Doug Batchelor actually is going to speak twice. Christopher Hudson, Lonnie Melanchenko, Wintley Phipps, Sebastian Braxton, Ron Kelly, mm. David Shin, mm. Ryan Johnson, and then... Our home speakers, Danny Shelton, John Lomacain, Joe Morcone, Ryan Day, James Rafferty, John Dinsey, Kenny Shelton, and Shelley Quinn. So we're going to have music. We will have our Sabbath school panel. Yes, that's right. We're, we'll have planned giving seminars that you can attend, three ABN tours, free meals. Wow. <laughs> <Ooh>, delicious. <laughs> and you can go to 3abncampmeeting.com org or 3abncampmeeting.tv to get all of these details. We hope that you will be able to join us in person. If not, still mark your calendars for June the 5th through June the 8th because it will all be broadcast live. Mm. Mm. Talk about the kids. Yeah, I couldn't hold myself <laughs> quiet. <laughs> but you're right. Yes, of mm. course, we'll also have some kids programming during that time. So bring on the kids. That's right. Um, from the youngest uh, all the way up to the teens. So we want the kids to come too, and they will be learning similar uh, age appropriate, but we try to tie it in with the adults as well. So, mm -hmm. so similar theme. You're trying similar to similar theme, theme. Mm -hmm. correct? And uh, we're looking at Nats to help us out again. So good. Yeah. They do such a great they job. Do. They, they do. They do. Great we job. just have a wonderful team, and just the energy that and. What's nice about the kids when they come for a camp meeting is that they see their other the friends that they keep coming to. That's right. See and read. At nice. Kids, I mean, at the camp meeting. Mm -hmm. So correct. Yeah, they look forward to yeah. their friends. They're already texting each other. We're going to be a camp meeting. <laughs> Are yeah. you coming? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so yeah. That's a good thing. That's a good. Amen. That's a good networking. Yeah, y'all sold me. I'm. I want to come. Don't you? <laughs> oh, for we're gonna, sure. We're going to be there. We want to be there. Tell us about it's the music, exciting. Mr. Danny, because exciting with the music too well, at camp meeting. Yeah, we have that. some of the regulars that we. Have, but as oh, Shelley yeah. mentioned, uh, we have Larry Gatlin. I don't know, probably many of our viewers uh, will remember uh, Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin brothers. Well, the brothers aren't going to be here, but Larry's going to come here. And if someone said, what, what are you having Larry Gatlin at a camp meeting? I said, because he's a Christian. He loves the Lord. He's yes. got a great testimony. And uh, we've got to know him a little bit. And he said, I'd be happy to come and join you all. And uh, so he's going to be here with Reggie and Lady, of course, as far as yeah. our outside. We have our in-house as we have our in-house speakers or in-house in, in music, but we're going to have a number of people that's going to be here also, and of course, Tim Parton oh, yeah. always, but it's going to be a great camp meeting. And so our, 
since we're living in closing moments of Earth's history, mm. we have to constantly be aware. I think it's time, my dad used to call it, pull out all the stops. Mm -hmm. In other words, when we're doing evangelism, we got to open mm -hmm. any door that's open. If they're not there, we got to say, Lord, is this you? Can you, mm -hmm. this is you open that door? So our idea of getting people here that will attract people. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've already got phone calls from people who've never, in, even in local area, who've never been to 3ABN, never been to a camp meeting, says, I'm coming, to, how do I, do I need tickets? What do I need to do? We <laughs> want to come, we want to bring our families, we're going to come. So there'll be people, so it's the first night of camp meeting. Larry will be here and I think Reggie and Lady with him. And uh, so we'll all get a chance to sing with him a little bit the first hour. But there, I believe this is going to be a way to get people to come and to hear the truth mm -hmm. and to hear what God is doing, that he's alive and well and on the throne mm -hmm. and uh, get to know 3ABN and the message mm -hmm. of 3ABN, which is what's really important yeah. for mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And I have to say yeah, something, ahead. sorry. Yes. No, you're good. But let's comment that it's, we don't charge. No, I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal. I mean, I haven't been to camp meetings where we don't, where other ministries don't charge. And mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. Again, you're invited. Yeah, <laughs> Sorry. Um, and be oh, no, part of the family. Be part Absolutely. of our family. Yeah, I mean, we good. want to see you face to face, and this is a big yeah. deal after COVID. We oh, long yes. Mm -hmm. you know, so our, the food is complimentary. The RV spaces are complimentary. Yes. The camping is mm -hmm. everything. Absolutely. Yeah, and, I, and I doubt a Larry Gatlin, you probably go see him anywhere, which you don't pay some money to. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there's Absolutely. no no charge. You just show up. And hopefully we'll be able to pack everybody in. Oh, yeah. And uh, so the sooner you get there, the better. What time does it start? On Starts Wednesday at 6 p.m. Wednesday night. 6 p.m. on Absolutely. Wednesday night. Okay, so that's either. June June 5th, 5, June Wednesday, 5. June 5. So that's the way to start off the camp meeting. Yeah. You can and come early for a good seat. It. Absolutely. Yeah. That's a great way to kick off camp meeting. It is. Mm -hmm. You know, and people will come in and they'll, they'll hear the music mm -hmm. and they'll hear the word. And yeah. I love this mm -hmm. theme. Preparation yeah. for the final crisis. I think, Greg, you suggested that, and it was just like, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it came from 3ABN Latino. They're going to do their camp yeah. meeting, and then this wow. is the year, of course, of preparation for 3ABN. Like, well, that theme just fits. So yes, preparation yes. for the final crisis. It's yeah. wonderful. And then I think Shelly yeah. comes up with the different yeah. sermons. And <laughs> yeah. It's wonderful because we need to know yeah. what to do. We're yeah. at the end of time, and we know some people who are not even Christian know something's going on. Yeah, they do. Right? So we're here at the end of time, and I'm so thankful that 3ABN has the platform to share what to do in preparation for yeah. the final crisis. So yeah. this is exciting. Yeah, I, to me, I've seen people more open now because everything's such yeah. a, yes. I use the word, such a mess, <laughs> you know, in our country <laughs> and around the world. Yes. It's so upside down. You know, evil seems good and good seems evil. I mean, we're yeah. there. It's not like we're looking, you know, prophetically. And it's such a time like we have people have the person, in fact, uh, we're going to be spending time with this week mm. who called and says, I just need some answers to questions. These wow. are people, husband, mm. wife in their, you know, 40s, late 40s, and they've got grown children. And they're like, we just need some answers. They live in the local community. And mm -hmm. we thought about you, you all, is there any chance you could just spend some time. Can we go out to eat with you? They said, we just want to ask you some spiritual questions. And the guy said, I'm not much on praying. I haven't been in the past, but I've been trying it lately and it works. And, mm -hmm. and my wife and me were wanting to, so, and more than once we've had other people even that I went to school with that have called and said, hey, we want to find out more about what's happening. We don't understand the times in which we're living. And so I always mm -hmm. say, as I said to the uh, Filipino uh, president when I was over there years ago, she came to our meeting. And so when I spoke, I said, you know, I know God's plan for my life. And as I sat down, there was an auditorium, thousands of people. So, so uh, uh, President Gloria, she said to me, well, you know your will for God's life? And I said, yes. And she goes, God's will for your life. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> God's will for y your life. And, and I said, yes. And she said, well, do you, do you know God's will for my life? I said, I do. And she's, Madam President, I do. And she said, you know God's will for my life? I said, yes. I, she said, can we talk tomorrow or the next day? Uh, uh, and I, I, said, yeah, I said, I have to go back and I'm scheduled to go back. And I don't know if I'm supposed to ask this to a president, but can I get your email address? Can we email back and forth? She said, absolutely, mm. we'll do it. So, you know, I was able to, to literally write with her and, and, and told her God's will for her life. And of course, that is mm -hmm. to, she's in a position that he put, put her in a prominent position 
and she can make a difference in the lives of all the people mm -hmm. in the Philippines by making sure that the gospel is free and is accessible, mm -hmm. you know, and give religious freedom and support that and all of that. And they, she thanked me. She and her husband wow. said, thank you so much mm -hmm. for that. I said, that's God's will for your life. You know, mm -hmm. you're yeah. a modern day Daniel, you're a modern day, you know, mm -hmm. Joseph, you're a modern day leader and God has put you there for a reason. So God has a plan for all of our lives. Yes. Yes. And uh, so I, I'm, it, it's, as I said, I can't thank God enough, can, can't thank the Lord enough for the life that he gives us as Christians. Yes. And that we, we that know what's coming true. because the peace that you can have is amazing because the world, when they're so upside down, they don't have the peace, but we've read the back of the book and yeah, it says right. basically the short versions we win. Amen. So Amen. no matter what happens to us physically, what happens to us if we die today, we still win mm -hmm. in the long run, right? For we eternity. Sure do. Oh, and yes. so to me, man, I'm just excited and camp meeting, this oh, is gonna be a great time. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure you come, please. That's right, mark it on your calendar, June 5 through 8. Yeah. As was mentioned, great kids meetings, it's a great family time, yes. a great time for the adults with the meetings and of course, a great time of fellowship. One of the things that I really like to see at Cami, of course, people together hearing the Word of God, but then after the meetings, it's neat to see little groups forming. I see people yes. praying mm, together, nice. people with their Bibles open. That fellowship aspect is just fantastic. It's great for those of you that cannot make it here to watch this camp meeting on 3 ABN. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful, but if you can make it here, what an incredible yes. blessing true. it is, and it's all complimentary. I do want to mention this, though, is that you need to be reserving your RV spots. We've mm -hmm. never had our RV sites filling up this, fa this fast before, so it looks like there's going to be a capacity crowd right. at camp meetings, so right. we need you to go ahead and reserve your RV spot. The prime spots are right there on the Worship Center campus. If you've been there before, right by the school, the bathhouse, those are filling up really quick. I think we're way over halfway full on those spots. So go ahead and call the call center or the contact. Can they do that on the website too or they have to call to reserve? Call us to okay. reserve, absolutely. 618-627-4651. That number again is 618-627-4651 to reserve your RV spot. And maybe you say, I'm not an RVer. We have hotels in the area. That's and right. if you just go to 3abncampmeeting.org, um, you can see it says the, it has a list of hotels in the area or you can just go on Google nowadays and you can just Google a hotel hotel <laughs> in the area. So there's a lot of different options for you. We're so looking forward to seeing you. Um, this theme is incredible. It is. It's so important in these last days that you and I be prepared and we know how to be prepared yeah. and we know how to evangelistically share during this critical moment in earth's history. Mm -hmm. So we're looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. Uh, before we talk to you, Francine, about the um, kids and what's happening in the Kids Network, we do want to mention uh, several things on a sad note. Mm -hmm. uh, Julia Ukina's mother, maybe we can comment on that. She yeah. passed away, Julia Ukina's mother, passed away here just recently, and that's mm -hmm. a big loss. I know many of you support 3ABN Russia. Mm -hmm. Julia, of course, is the director of 3ABN Russia for many, many years, well over 30 years, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a picture of uh, Julia's mother. Mm -hmm. Great lady. She just passed away, and uh, let's remember Julia, of course, and our prayers. And then Mrs. Um, Mrs. Uh, Harriet Boss, also yes. a longtime supporter of 3 a right. passed away too. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Dan, I know you. years old. 102, was. Mrs. Boss. But I know yes. both ladies, of course. Uh, well, we have Boss Potter Auditorium Boss. because of uh, she and her uh, sister-in-law, Lydia yes. Boss, who put up money when we were in the mid-90s. We had our first, I think, seminars yep. with Doug Batchelor that yeah. we went live right out of Boss Auditorium. <laughs> so uh, they've both been uh, wonderful supporters oh, yeah. over the years, but she's now resting mm -hmm. in Jesus, as is Julia's mother. I think she's 95, mm -hmm. and I had the privilege of meeting her a long time ago, you know, 30, 30 years yeah. plus now, yes. years ago we met. And so mm -hmm. she's a, a wonderful lady. She was a doctor, mm -hmm. a medical yes. doctor, mm -hmm. and for years, and I think it's okay, yeah. Joey won't mind me saying, but for years, she, she I, I, I don't know, I'm not going to say she was an atheist. She just didn't really know about God, didn't really. So when 3ABN started and Julia came and, you know, to the ministry and was working there, her mother just didn't know what to think yeah. about all of this. And so I think it was maybe our 10th year anniversary around 2002 or three, somewhere in there that, that we were we went over mm -hmm. and so Julia asked her mother, she'd been watching us some on TV, would you come uh, and meet to Danny New Three A B N she calls her angels, Russian mm -hmm. angels. Oh yes. And uh, mom mom reluctantly said yes, but she wanted to come and so she came, but 
uh, her struggle was she'd been having tremendous back problems mm -hmm. until she literally was drawn over wow. and she was in constant pain. Mm -hmm. And so Julia said, I don't know if she can make it or not, she's gonna try. And so she did show up and to greet us and we were so happy, so we spent a little time and I saw how miserable she was. And in my mind, I'm like, Lord, we really need a miracle right now. You know, for her unbelief, we really need a miracle. So I asked Ju Julia, I said, Julia, would, would your mom care if we would, I call her mom, I said, would mom care if we pray for her? And so she asked her and she was, okay. So we held hands and, and I literally could, as I was praying and asked the Lord to do a miracle for her. Mm. Yeah. She could see his power, you know, so yep. I said, God, oh, yeah. please mm -hmm. touch her, mm -hmm. this woman, you know, because her, her unbelief wasn't any resistance. It's just, I don't know. Yeah. I've not mm -hmm. been taught. I wasn't raised that way. Didn't have the opportunities under communism the way we have here. And so I literally could feel her straightening up. Oh, wow. And when we got wow. through with her prayer, she mm. literally was standing up and she looked at Julia Praise and she the goes, Lord. That's amazing. I don't have any pain. Wow. She's like, my pain is all gone. And she's Praise like, my, my, back's, my back's fine. So of course, Julia and me were fighting back to tears. Oh, yes. But we said, you know, thank you, Lord, for that miracle. And, and we fully expect, and she's, had a, mm. over the years, you know, tremendous growth, spiritual growth. Mm -hmm. And talking to Julia, she knows very good and well and so glad that she'll get to see her mother in yeah. heaven yeah. Amen. because her mom made so many changes as all of us need to do, accepting the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, as our personal yeah. savior, because without that, there's no hope for yeah. the future. But uh, what a wonderful woman, mm. oh, yeah. so supportive of Julia yep. and the Ru Russian 3ABN yeah. for so many years. And uh, so it's uh, sad her passing, but the good news is, you know, she'll never be in pain anymore. She was in quite a bit of, you know, yeah. as you get older, all of us, we find more. Experience. I won't look at any particular people to say, <laughs> yeah. we find more. No, I'm, few, few, I'm not, look, I, I live with you, so I'm not going to. As, as I look around, some of us get a little older, get a little more aches and pains than we, than we uh, had, used to have. So, but That's praise funny. the Lord. So it's yeah. great praise report. Amen. And of course, Harriet Boss, she's mm -hmm. been a Christian for so many years and yeah. put in money to the Lord's work. And, yeah. and, and uh, so Tremendous they'll support. be missed here, mm -hmm. but soon and very soon we shall see the King. Amen. They're resting Amen. in Jesus, but their works do follow them, which yes. is incredible, yes. isn't it? Yes. yes. Go ahead, Dr. Yvonne. Julia said uh, that at the end, I called her Mamichka, yes. and she called me Ivanichka. That was my Russian <laughs> she, nickname. She loved Ivan. She would always say, how's Ivanichka? Oh, yeah. When I met her, it's so weird because we didn't speak the same language. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't speak to her and she couldn't speak to me in the same language, but we were just kind of drawn to each other. Mm. And I just felt such love for her in my heart. And I think she, she for did. me, yeah. and Same so, for um, it is a tremendous loss, but I'm so thankful that she drew closer to the Lord yep. at the very end than mm -hmm. ever before. So mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to seeing her in the oh, earth made new. Amen. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Lord. Yes. Amen. Francine, I know that uh, you and Jason, we had the opportunity to go into Russia, you know, too. Mm -hmm. And what an incredible, special. I mean, yeah, it's very special to be there to see what the Lord has, has done and is continuing to do there in Russia is absolutely amazing. I've never been so well welcomed, yeah. um, <laughs> right. so showered with love yeah. than there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. It was just amazing. How, I mean, yes, I mean, calling them the Russian angels is very yeah. appropriate. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Can you imagine what angels may look like here <laughs> on the earth. <laughs> they they definitely exemplified they it do. to us mm -hmm. in, in my family and so yes we were all touched by that oh. and um, I, I see how God is constantly working those miracles like you, you were talking about with Julia's mm -hmm. mother. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about behind the scenes and I know with Shelley for example you know when we're planning a camp meeting we're often on our knees praying. Mm -hmm. We really have to say Lord this is yours mm -hmm. That's right. God and is. Um, I just want you to know at home that there's a lot behind the scenes of prayer and then you see the Holy Spirit working out before you mm. yes. or how everything just comes together and it's just humbling to it see how Amen. God really mm. works it out. And I saw it time and time again in the classroom, but not to the magnitude here because I would be talking about something in the classroom and then things would come in the classroom that would just tie in and really relate to it. Mm. It's just magnified here at 3AB, <laughs> yeah. where the topic, everything just falls into place and you, you make your plans, but God really 
reveals right. his plan. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's like there you go. And, um, and you saw that again at kids camp, if I may start talking about kids camp, because um, again, you make these plans and you have these ideas, but again, it was God leading through it all. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, it, it's just humbling to see the right people that come, mm -hmm. the, the hosts that come. Mm -hmm. I, it's just amazing. And this was a major production. Again, for those of you that don't know about Kids Camp, this was a four day, I don't know how to word it. Full but on. Full, full <laughs> on. I mean, all of 3 a.m. It's fun. You know, well, you did it's 112 fun. programs in four days. Yeah, it's amazing. Ooh. So this is seven different programs. We're rotating kids, about 77 between the whole four days, and we're rotating them. Yeah. And again, God had to be in there. And I, I, again, you saw the parents saying, this is where we want to be. I'm so glad. And, and some of them made a big sacrifice to come. Yes. And yet God saw fit for them to be here and they were just mm -hmm. blessed by it and all the more so myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it, it, it's, we're all growing. And mm -hmm. even though we're here, I have to say that I'm still growing to be more mm -hmm. like Jesus. Mm -hmm. and that's, that's, right. Right. that's why you and, are here. And, you know, yeah. and so we have a little B-roll and I'm Good. just going to talk about it. So we've already started airing on the Kids Network and it just started it, also on the parents. Last weekend. Yes. So we've yeah. got some kids camp here and this is Critters and Creation with Keith Nelson and he's from Camp Kualakwa and this is Sylvester, his skunk. skunk. <laughs> and um, we had fun with skunk. this. It was a real life de-scented de skunk, but <laughs> no. and then we have Bible jams, and again, uh, this is all related. All the programs related to what the main story of Bible jams was going to be about, mm -hmm. and so that was God is with us from the depths of the sea to the highest mountain. And we have Daniel Perrin that was there, mm -hmm. and then we have Susie Hayes and Ryan Hayes doing the crafts, yes. and again, they all related to the theme. Mm -hmm. That's and so great. here they're making a jellyfish. <laughs> And the kids fun. have fun. They got to take them home. And I have to say that all of these mm. crafts, and you'll see a little bit, the recipes are also on the kids.tv website, okay. kids.tv website. This is Jason. Here's, yeah, uh, JB Scout, we call yeah. him. Here on the, <laughs> and they're learning little survival skills here and so that they can adventure in the outdoors in Fit Club. Yeah, exercise. And so uh, coach with meals. Uh, Coach <laughs> Mills. And she is just mm. full of energy and getting the kids with their energy. She's very uh, with the kids in, involved there. And here we have Sing Along with our beloved Tim Parton. Oh, yes. And uh, Allison Spear was there as well. And the kids just learned a lot of songs. God is with us wherever we go. Mm -hmm. And of course, we love Miss Cinda and uh, Auntie, Auntie Linda. Linda. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're doing the kitchen fun here. And they always have the saying, it's fun in the kitchen. And again, you can find these recipes on our 3abnkids.tv website. So um, we hope that you will tune in and tell others about what's happening with the kids. But I have to say that what you're doing at home in witnessing with others, um, sometimes the kids talk with each other mm. and they say, hey, you know, I want to be involved. And then they get their friends involved. And that's how the networking go works is that you're planting a seed. But I have to say that I had a little boy named Benjamin. He just made my day a couple weeks ago. He is a six year old little boy and he just called, hi, Auntie Francine. <laughs> and I said, hi, who's this? And he was a little Benjamin and, he's, and he was talking about all the programs that he's been watching. <laughs> and he's so excited about Kids Camp and he wants to see what's happening. And I find out la a little bit later from his grandmother that his, he just lost his mother. Oh, wow. And he was finding mm. encouragement. And I'm like, what program do you want to come in on? Again, I was just so humbled, mm. you mm -hmm. know, how much mm. this ministry means to so many people right. that we don't see it. Mm -mm, we really true. don't. Mm. I mean, I don't. But sometimes you get these little um, nuggets. Nuggets. Yeah. Yeah. And you see how God is really working in their lives. Mm. And that's Amen. what we're here for. And again, it's because of what you're doing oh, yeah. for this yeah. ministry. Um, it would not happen without you. And mm -hmm. so 
we're talking about behind the scenes, but realize that how important you are to this ministry. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. With the you kids, too, with everything. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> like, there's I'm just no like, doubt <laughs> that God brought you. Yeah, that's right. Such that's a heart right. for him, but you yeah. have such a heart for the kids. For kids. Mm -hmm. We but, appreciate what you do. Well, thank Great you. It's, it's humbling, but you know, yeah, I just want to say thank you for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. and, and the team here, we are a family, and mm -hmm. you are part of this family too. That's right. um, we may not sh show our gratitude enough, Enough, but it's there. Mm -hmm. And Amen. again, God's word is supreme. Thank you. Well Amen. said. Amen. Yeah. Thank you. Beautiful. Amen. Thank you for yes. your leadership oh, with yeah. Kids Fantastic. Network. Francine's just a joy to work oh, with, she but she yeah. does an incredible job. These new programs have launched. You can watch them on broadcast on Kids Network or 3ABN, but they're also on demand. So tell oh, us yes. how you can find them on demand. On well, phone. I go on my phone. Oh, yeah, and, me too. But those of you that don't know, if you have an app on your phone, you just say 3ABN Plus. Mm -hmm. And you get on there and you can see all our programs from 3ABN and, of course, the Kids Network. Mm -hmm. So that's what I would recommend. And if you don't know what to do, I would call in. Mm -hmm. yeah, we Again, 618-627-4651. And I'm sure somebody will help yeah, guide you absolutely. because that's, that's what we do at ASI or GYC and some of the meetings that we go to. I'm always telling other people how you can get on your app. So. Mm -hmm. Good. The beautiful thing of the app is, uh, you know, you've got the live broadcast, but you have the video on demand, which is great because you Correct. can watch it when you want it, when the time you want it, what you want to watch. And you too. can pause it. Yeah, like can. the kids can pause it and then come back to oh, it. Great. So yeah, it's it's a great tool and for it's free. kids, and it's free. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah, free. That's, it doesn't that's, cost that's, to download the app. It's yeah. a free app. It yeah. is. So. Mm -hmm. And you can also watch it on Roku mm -hmm. as well. And a lot of people are watching the on demand on Roku. Yes. And we had a little bit of trouble. Uh, obviously, if you're watching us now, you don't have the trouble anymore. But we were having some troubles <laughs> with Roku and Dish Network. So you should be watching us now. With those things have been fixed. But thank you so much for your patience. Mm -hmm. But Roku is a great way mm -hmm. to again mm -hmm. watch mm -hmm. three ABN on demand like these kids programs you're talking about, mm -hmm. Sabbath school mm -hmm. panel, many of the other things that 3ABN 3 3ABN 3 has. What should we talk about next? A lot of behind the scenes things. Rallies? Uh, sure, yeah, absolutely. Rallies. Okay. Speaking of Francine, you were talking about the impact this ministry makes. And when we go out to rallies and mm -hmm. we get to meet our family, and mm -hmm. you know, when we talk to you, we're just looking at a television screen, but when we get to go out, get to meet you, get to hear your stories, get to hug your neck, as Mr. Danny would say, <laughs> and just get to uh, connect with you, what a gift that is. We were at the Loma Linda mm -hmm. Indonesian Church. Mm -hmm. There in Redlands, California, which is right neighboring there to Loma Linda, California. Uh, they just opened up their doors to oh, us. Incredible. Such a hospitable church. They see uh, 1,200 people, mm -hmm. and the church was packed, and some people standing in the back and overflow. You can see there's video. Um, we're not listening to it right now, but uh, Yvonne, this was mm -hmm. you and Ryan and Tim mm -hmm. singing there for church. Um, and I think we have some other pictures if we want to put them up, and then we can just mm -hmm. talk about it. It was a them. packed house, though. It was, yeah, just like 1,200 mm -hmm. plus people there and great like you mentioned Aunt Francine for so many people are just yeah. feel a part of the three been family and be able to meet people face to face is yeah. tremendous and yeah. people who came oh, yeah. from so far yeah yes. I think yes. we heard as far away as Washington State that's right you told me this is Pastor Alfonso sorry Pastor oh, Alfonso no, and his wife were grateful for their leadership yes. there so yeah. go ahead Washington State oh no, there I'm you are saying speaking. there there are people who literally came from drove hours yes. to be there and it's so good to see these folk because we we got the glass between us now, mm -hmm. you know, but when we do go to the rallies, we're thankful when you come out because we get to meet you mm -hmm. in person. And uh, we're always amazed and happy at the people that God puts into our lives during these rallies and mm -hmm. friendships that we can continue on long afterwards, you know, people oh, yeah. we've met. And some people will see them at a rally in one state, and later we'll see them in another. <laughs> They'll say, well, we just, anywhere you're around, you know, 3ABN comes, we're going to be there. So, yeah. so it's a great, we, I love going out to rallies, don't you? I do, yeah. I do. You get to, you know, again, as you've said, we get to meet the people, interact with them, and hear their stories mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Many of them have stories, and they'll say, like, pray for my children, mm -hmm. or pray for me, or whatever. So it's really, it's a blessing. Or mm -hmm. I found the Lord through 3ABN, oh, yeah. which is mm -hmm. also really inspiring. Yeah. So yeah. it's really great, because, like you said, Jill, we don't get to 
we're looking at cameras when we're in here, but then we get to see people face mm -hmm. to face. That's great. So they say we, they get to meet us in person. We get to meet I them in person too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fun. I know we have some other um, rallies we're going to. We might be coming to your neck of the woods is the way you used to say it in West Virginia, your neck of the woods. <laughs> I know Alabama's one we're going to. I think Bahamas is another one we're hoping to. We'd love to go up into Canada actually trying to work that out. I believe, let's see, where's another one we're going to? Are those some of the main ones? I just want to mention on? the one in Huntsville, yeah. Alabama. So up this up is next. April 20, Sabbath, April 20. We'll be at the Mount Calvary, Seventh-day Adventist Church. So if you are in that area, in the yeah. Huntsville area, or maybe you come want to come out. in from another state, we would love to meet you mm -hmm. and to spend the Sabbath together. Mm -hmm. And then I think Bahamas is coming up. So end of June. End of June. Nassau, yes. right? Nassau, Bahamas. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we'll let you know if things work out in Canada. <laughs> so we're working on those plans too. So, so Jill, what is the process like sometimes a church might want 3ABN to come. How does question. that, to do a rally, That's how does that a great work? great question. So you just reach out to us. Um, the best way probably would be email. You could email mail, M-A-I-L, at 3ABN.TV. That's mail at 3ABN.TV. Or you could always call us and just say, I'm interested in a rally at my church. I would say the criteria we really look for is we look for a church that can house a good number of people that want to come from the area. The second criteria is we try to go to different regions of the country. In other words, when we were in Loma Linda, people said the neighboring Loma Linda church, oh, why don't you come to my church? <laughs> um, but we're trying to go to different regions so that people can come together. That's so right. we'll hit the Northwest or the Southwest or the Southeast or the Northeast or Middle America. So that way people can come from the areas. So it might be a few years before we go back to the Loma Linda area specifically, but that would be the criteria. So just reach out and we would love to schedule a rally in your area and community. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a and, good question. And a place for people to eat too. The Indonesian yes. church did an amazing job of sending they through did. about a thousand people through the lunch <laughs> line pretty quick. So that was quite an endeavor, but yeah, it's fun. And it's the food was amazing. Fun. Yes, Shelly's book. We got Shelly's book. Yeah, Let's talk oh. about Spotless. I know it's your program book. is on 3ABN Plus. You can watch it on demand. It's airing on 3ABN. And let's talk about this incredible offer where people can get cases of these books and all they pay is the shipping. Oh, you were mentioning God's will for your life. I know it's God's will for my life that I wrote this book. Wow. And why I'm saying that is he's been teaching me so much over the last 20 years about the covenant. The name of the book is Spotless, Experiencing the Everlasting Covenant Through Righteousness by Faith. Mm. Let me just say this. Let me explain what the everlasting covenant is. God announced it in Genesis 3:15 when he announced the Messiah who was coming. Revelation 13, 8 says, Jesus is the lamb who was slain from the foundation of the mm -hmm. world. That means God had the Calvary plan in place mm -hmm. before he even created our world. Re uh, Hebrews 13, 20 calls his blood, the blood of the everlasting covenant. And you know what the goal of the everlasting covenant was? Second Corinthians 5, 21, he made him, Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, mm -hmm. to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness, righteousness of God mm -hmm. in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. So God's plan is righteousness by faith. I have to tell you, this is so exciting. God impressed as this book, when you were talking about being on your knees, the first day that I took 10 weeks off work to write this book, and as God kept impressing me, John, I'm going to read it. John 5, 46 and 47. I started writing and he kept me in Genesis for a while. And it's like, Lord, is this you or is this me? I didn't intend to do this. Mm -hmm. Lord, is this you? And he took me to John 5, 46 that says, this is Jesus talking to the Pharisees. If you believed Moses, mm -hmm. you would believe me. Mm -hmm. for he wrote about me. But get this, if you do not believe his writings, you will not believe my words. Mm -hmm. I think Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy are so important. And in this book, we spend a good deal of time in Genesis and Exodus. But uh, the, God impressed me, it should be free. 
And praise God, we had donors yes. Oh, yes. who mm-hmm. came mm-hmm. forward it's amazing. and we it's ordered like 52,000 books. 30,000 have already gone out in the last few months. Yeah, it's amazing, mm-hmm. quick. Mm-hmm. At, but that means we've still got 20,000 books <laughs> available. <laughs> and the offer is this, you can get spotless in a case of 40 books Mm -hmm. and not pay a penny for the book. All you do is pay the $35 shipping fee. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you some of the testimonies very quickly. So far, I had somebody call me whose son had been, actually it was her nephew, her sister's son. He had left the church Mm -hmm. 30 years ago. He heard once saved, always saved. He left the church started, he was going to Sunday church, living like the devil, Mm. fought with his mother every weekend. He would drive her to church because she couldn't drive. But they'd have a fight every weekend about once saved, always saved. Mm. So his mother gave, read this book, gave it to him and said, son, if you love me, read this book. Mm. He read the book over the weekend, the whole book. Wow. Mm. He came in on a Monday morning got on his knees before his mother and said, Mom, forgive me. I've already asked God to forgive me. Wow. I was wow, so wrong. Yeah. Wow. There is no one saved, always mm-hmm. saved. Wow. I've had pastor, uh, a, a pastor who is a non-denominational pastor who's been texting all throughout this, just going, you can't argue this, this is truth. Oh, you mm-hmm. can't argue this, this Amen. is truth. Mm-hmm. We've had a, a, a personal friend of mine Sunday keeping, great Christian, but her daughter died. She believed her Mm. daughter was in heaven dancing with the Lord. Mm. And I didn't correct her because the only thing that was keeping her from suicide Mm. was thinking her daughter was, you know, I I couldn't tell, even though it was a crutch and I knew it wasn't true. And I prayed and prayed about it. And the Lord just kept kind of putting his hand over that. So I sent her this book and I thought, this may be the end of our yeah. friendship because mm-hmm. I'm, but it's been a few years now. Mm-hmm. She absolutely oh. said, this is such wow. a truth. And, you know, every, mm-hmm. you, what yes. you'll get in this book is a picture of God's love like you've never seen before. You mm-hmm. will see how relevant the Old Testament is, how it is just a continuing narrative throughout the Bible. You will fall in love, and that's I've got several people saying, I'm falling in love with Jesus all over again. Amen. There are churches that are using it, and I want to tell you, I wrote it as a sharing book, and it's having a great impact with people who are not Adventists. Amen. But if Anybody needs to know this message. It's Adventists. Mm -hmm. And because this will, you will never be a legalist again. You will never Mm -hmm. think that you can just live like the devil again. If you read this book and understand what righteousness by faith is, it is God's end time message Mm -hmm. for all of us. And I want to encourage you, you can go to 3abnstore.com, 3abnstore.com. Dot com. Get a box of 40. We've got churches that are using it oh, for yeah. their Wednesday mm-hmm. night Bible studies, for women's mm-hmm. Bible studies, mm-hmm. different Bible studies. It's an, a life-changing yeah. book. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shelley, yeah, I started reading it, it and it's incredible what you've done. It, it, you, mm-hmm. you make it so plain and so simple because sometimes we, try, we read books and it's yeah. like, I'm not sure I, really. Yeah. So when I'm reading it, I was saying, I think about other people, okay? I've been in, you know, the message a long time and right. what about somebody who's not a Christian and you word it so beautifully and so simply, Amen. you give God the credit and you go through topics in a nice way where you don't feel like you're getting beat up mm-hmm. at all. Mm-hmm. You say, praise the Lord, thank you for, for giving me this information like this young man. And so I wanna say thank you for, mm-hmm. you know, what yeah. you do for the cause of God and mm-hmm. the book that we co-wrote now, what, 20, Plus years ago, right? I think this year's maybe will end up being around 20 years, and so millions of those have gone out. We've seen yep. lives change. This one is going to be oh, yeah. an incredible impact of what what mm-hmm. what you've done here. So mm-hmm. praise the Lord. And I'd like to ask, and I guess it's okay, but if you'd like support. to support this mm-hmm. ministry financially, these books, and maybe you say, look. I, 
I, I want to help get these out. That's good. You can send a donation here to 3ABN, and I guess that's if good. they put Spotless on it, that's oh, right. yeah. the, 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 mm -hmm. it's yep. a great way you can help to get it out because it's, as I've been reading, I haven't finished it, I said this is one of the best books, if not the best book, mm -hmm. I've seen in, in years to really balanced mm -hmm. get the gospel. Not only will people not be not not what did you say a while ago uh, legalist, legalist mm -hmm. but they won't be liberalist either yeah, exactly. you know and they won't be laziest either that's a good word but, uh, I love it but but yeah. put it in the dictionary there's one thing I have I to say I'm so excited the uh, publisher will be here next month they're already finishing the Spanish translation. Oh, mm -hmm. I believe oh, that's that, and that's where, oh, we really, if you would like to see the Spanish speaking communities get this, I was telling Adalia, she said, is it going to be ready for our camp meeting? Mm -hmm. And I think it might, but you can. You can either call 3ABN or even just go on and, and make a donation towards Spotless because I believe God wants us to get this book out like the leaves of autumn, mm -hmm. just just as he does with the great controversy, because all of the 28 Bible fundamental Bible beliefs we yes. hear are in here. Didn't mm -hmm. intend to do that, but they're all part of the story. Mm -hmm. It is. I give him all the glory. The way he wove the scriptures together, because even when you're in the Old Testament, it's all about Jesus, mm -hmm. and he brings it all in to prove that. Yeah. Amen. I just want to reference the phone number here. Oh, yeah, Call good. us at 3 ABN right now and open. order your case or cases of Spotless to Pass Out. You can call us at 618-627-4651. That's 618-627-4651. You can order a case of 40 of these books. The printing has already been sponsored, as Shelley referenced, so all you pay is the shipping cost. That's $35. Or maybe the Lord's going to put on your heart that you want to sponsor more printing of this book or in Spanish, as Shelley just talked about. So you can make a donation when you call us right now at 618 Eight six two seven four six five one, or you can go online and you can That's order right. them online as yep, well. Super easy, Doctor Yvonne. Oh, Shelley, you want to say something? I just want to say before I forget, <laughs> uh, I think it was Carolyn Young called from our call center, and she said, "I just had to tell you, there's this pastor who's ordered like I don't forget how many. He just keeps reordering cases mm -hmm. after cases. Amen. He's giving them to all the pastors in Montana. He's oh, giving great. them to Amen. to." Uh, oh. He said academies that had a revival break out at the academy. Oh, David oh, Shin gave great. it to all of his students. Amen. It's mm -hmm. it's deep Bible study, but it's written very simply so mm -hmm. that even a child, a, yes. a teenager could go through yes. and understand. It's a life-changing book. It's a life-changing book. And the way you structured it with the summaries at the end gives you the opportunity, gives the reader the opportunity to kind of review what, because it's a lot of information, yeah. but packed in there, and you give a great review of what you just talked about. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I, I think it's just, it's an amazing, marvelous mm -hmm. book. Glory we know God. the Holy yeah. Spirit Amen. inspired that it's book. It's perfect Glory timing. Oh, yeah. Yes, exactly. needs it. yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Sister White said that the last, the final message will be the message of righteousness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's time we understood it because when the shaking, God's not just going to shake people out. He's going to shake people in. And you want to understand if somebody's out there and they read this and accept all of God's truths, if they come to your church, Heaven help us that they should walk into a church that didn't understand this. Yes. <laughs> you know, sure. Shelley, uh, I, a great endorsement came also from Pastor Doug Batchelor because, and you can correct me on this, how he actually said it, but I believe he said it was uh, a, like an evangelistic series in a, in a book. book. Yeah. Well, that's incredible. You think mm -hmm. about a whole evangelistic series in a book. So you want to be a missionary, right? You want to be an evangelist at home. I know you do. We can see your head <laughs> nodding up and down. Uh, and we can hear your answers. Of course, this is a great way to do that, an evangelism tool in your own hand, in your own house. You were talking about churches having their own groups. You can do that in your house. Yes. Right? And some people, yes. I believe, are doing that getting these books and having their own Bible study group using this book. You mentioned even Wednesday night prayer meetings. Some churches are using it. What a great tool and it's available, has been mentioned already, right here at 3ABN's call center. And Jill, it's open tonight. They'll be happy to take your calls this mm -hmm. very evening. And what's amazing to me, 40 books 
Mm. And these are nice size books. Oh, it's an yeah. easy yeah. read though too. It it's is. Um, you know I do need to put my glasses. Pages. Thank you, <laughs> Shelley. Many pages. Two hundred and two hundred eighty-six wow. page book. But it's not like really small print where you need a, like a magnifying yeah, glass. It's, it's, it's a great read and it's a, a beautiful what a great book. book. Yes, but you think about that. You can get that book. Mm. 40 of them for $35 for shipping to anywhere here in the United States. That's incredible. Amazing. That's, That's incredible. less than a dollar oh, book. I have to tell you one more. <laughs> yes. you can, hold what? on a minute. So you can tell Shelly's excited right, about this project, and we are too. Go ahead, Shelly. Well, the other thing <laughs> is that an anti-Trinitarian <laughs> was reading this book, and they said, okay, I'm convinced I'm wrong. Right. And, and people, mm. some churches are using it now to okay. reach out to people Good. who've gotten off track. It's, it's not what I'm saying. This is purely Bible. It's written mostly mm -hmm. paraphrased scripture, but it's, it's so sewn up. Each mm -hmm. topic has so yeah. much biblical scriptural yes. support mm -hmm. that it can help right wrong thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Wow. We're coming down to the end of this first hour. We're playing musical chairs for we the are. next hour. We oh, just yes. have a couple moments. This is a little risky, but let's go around the table yeah. and see if we share a closing thought. That Something's way, on your heart. Some whatever's on your heart here. So, Mr. Yeah. Danny, we'll start with you. Oh, I, I'm blessed just to hear this and, oh, and yeah. see the message continually going out. Your support mm -hmm. of 3ABN helps us continually, whether it's the written word, or as Greg said, the television, the radio, the you know, internet, the YouTube, all, all of these things. It's opportunities that we have in the closing moments of Earth's history to do our part. God has called us each to do something big when we come in His name. Amen. And we are at the end of time, and we yep. know it, and we just have to make the most. We have to redeem the time, make the most of the time, yes. get the gospel out to the world, because when that happens, Jesus will come. Amen. 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 I'm thinking of a Kids Express that we just did this week, and one of the Bible verses was here in Colossians 2, verse 6 and 7. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him, rooted and built up in Him, mm. and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. And so I'm thinking that you've heard the truth, Mm -hmm. Now go walk in it as God would Amen. have you see. Amen. So, Amen. Um, Amen. Yeah, just be that light for Christ. Mm -hmm. I just want to say what a privilege it is. I realize that many people would like to work here and to think that God called me here and mm -hmm. gave me a platform that I could write such a book. Mm -hmm. But he gets all the glory Amen. and you'll hear that from everyone at the table about anything we do here. Amen. 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 Yeah, love you all. Love oh, working yeah. in ministry together. Love, what a privilege. Love you. You. What a gift. God has called you for such an hour as this and you're doing a great, great job. Mm -hmm. Praise, Praise Jesus. We have a full second hour oh, coming yeah. up. It's mainly focused on prison ministry, but we have some more um, initiatives that 3ABN is doing as well. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to 3ABM Behind the Scenes. We're so glad that you've joined us uh, for this special program. First hour, of course, just again, updating you on what the Lord is doing through your ministry, God's ministry, 3ABN. And thanks so much for being a part of the 3ABN family. Jill, we have some more 3ABN family around our table here in our 3ABN living room, right, this <laughs> evening. So who do we have? We do indeed. And we always love to share time with the family oh, we do. around the table. You know, sometimes we go out and people say, are you really all family? The truth is we are. And what a gift that mm -hmm. is. So in Christ. we have, that's right, family in Christ. Oh, Thank amen. you. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the table here, Jason Bradley, who of course is general manager of Dare to Dream. It's so glad you're here tonight, Jay. I'm glad to be here. I'm super passionate about prison ministry and I can't wait to hear all about what is taking place because mm. this is fast moving. It is. Fast paced. So sometimes we hear it on the set. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> Amen. That's yeah. right. God's doing amazing things in and through your ministry, 3ABN, especially with prison ministry as we're focused on this hour. Um, next to Jason is J.D. Quinn. Your other half was on. Shelly was on, of course, the first okay. hour here. But J.D. is the pastoral department manager and we're so glad you're here tonight. This is a uh Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to have this special time to talk about 
those that are incarcerated. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're our brothers and sisters in Christ. I mean, we love them. The time that I've had an opportunity to actually go in and, and share time, it's one of the best times I've ever mm. had. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we put our pants on the same way. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have, uh, our roads are a little bit uh, different, maybe. Mm -hmm. But, uh, boy, we love you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 3AVN Prison Ministry is thriving. And it's, you Amen. know, I know you're pastoral, but you also oversee 3AVN Prison Ministry, too. And you have a great yes. crew there as well. But it's just, it, to me, it's an, a great aspect of 3ABN. 3ABN is all about evangelism. Many of you are involved in your own prison ministry there in your local church or conference, but 3ABN also has a very thriving and active prison ministry, very, which we're going to be talking about this second hour. Super excited, some great brand new things that are taking place. So, yeah, excited about that. That's right. Coming yeah. around the table, yeah. we have Pamela Lingle. And Pamela is recently married, let's see, a year? Is it a year? A year and a half. Year wow. and a half? Yeah. Wow, where does the time go? <laughs> wow. So uh, her husband, Ben, could not be here with us this evening because he had another obligation. But both you and your husband recently went into prison so and ministered there. That's so right. we want to hear about that. Pamela, um, you wear many hats. You <laughs> run yes. camera and floor direct. And you do what we call VG in the control room. What yes. does that mean? So just in charge of putting up those supers and people's graphics and just making sure everything is in order for you guys when you call it out. <laughs> And yeah, when you say yeah. a super, that's actually like the name. The so it name. actually says, yes. yeah, Pamela Lingle on it. That's the yep. super. So those are all yep. created and put up. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's amazing. Yes. And, and your husband, and, oh, go ahead. And VG could be stand for very good. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Versus video graphics, right? Oh, video that's graphics. it. Huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good. Good clarification. Your husband, Ben, of course, is in charge of our audio here. Yes. Um, and he does an incredible job. Mm. But he wears many hats, too, and he can video edit and do other things as well as audio. Audio. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He enjoys it. Yeah. And your wife, Jay, is doing well, right, Palmetta? Yes. She is. Yeah, okay. She is. We're expecting our first child. So oh, super yay! excited Praise about that. Yep. Having a baby girl. Yep. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yep. So, yeah. That's gonna be fun. Oh yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to every phase except the dating phase. So <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Are you already thinking about your baby girl starting to date somebody? I am, and how I'm going to intimidate that young man, but yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're happy for you. And Thank you. And we're a great uh, team for the Lord. And uh, again, it's just great. You know, we can have families. We're talking about mm -hmm. Shelly, of course, J.D., your wife, and then family, your husband, Ben. And it's just great to be able to be a part of the ministry of 3ABN and be able to minister for the Lord. Again, this, uh, the call center is open this evening, and in case you were heard about us talking about the spotless book that you can get this evening, the call center is open, and this book is incredible. You can get 40 of these books for $35 shipped to you here anywhere in the United States of America. It's an incredible witnessing opportunity, and the call center is open this evening. That number is 618-627-4651, or you can go to our website. Jill and Shelly mentioned that in the first hour. You can go to the website. 3abn.tv, go to the store, just scroll down a little bit, and that book's right there. You can order it online, so it makes it super simple, but a great way to, um, to do evangelism in your mm -hmm. local community. Mm -hmm. Tonight, uh, second hour, we're talking mm -hmm. about um, prison ministry, right. and mm -hmm. kind of to kick this off, this is, uh, I like lists, you all know this, mm -hmm. so I kind of <laughs> like to delineate in my mind. When I think about 3abn's prison ministry, I think about a three-pronged approach. Uh, one prong is correspondence. This is Bibles being mailed into prisons. This is literature. Um, this is uh, answering their biblical questions and writing them letters. That all falls under pastoral prison mm -hmm. ministry and JD is going to be sharing about that. The second prong I think of is programming that we do in prisons. Mm -hmm. So Pamela is going to talk about that and um, everyone else too, but um, specifically the programs that we create with prisoners, Unshackled Purpose would be an example, mm -hmm. Jason, um, or the things that we do there with prisoners. And then the third aspect is 3ABN programming that goes into the prison. Good, yeah. This would be the interless box system where prisoners, when they're in their cell, where they can watch 3ABN programming. So one way is how they can participate in the programming. Another way is us sending our programming into the prisons. And the last way is the Bibles there in prison. So um, it's multifaceted mm -hmm. because we want to use every avenue that we have 
to reach prisoners with the gospel. Um, thinking, J.D., let's start with you because um, this aspect of prison ministry probably started first. I think yep. the Bibles mm -hmm. and the correspondence with the yep. prisoners started years ago with Sister Grace Yost, mm -hmm. who's now resting in Jesus. Yes. Mm -hmm. But um, talk to us about the ministry of reaching out to prisoners. Well, it just, uh, it was a baby. It started off as a baby. I remember exactly whenever it happened. And Grace Yost, she kind of took care of us guys. Uh, at that particular time, if somebody uh, sent in a question or so, she took care of that for us. And during that time, there was a gentleman that was an artist, a gifted artist, and he mm -hmm. started communicating with uh, Grace. And, uh, and then he wanted a Bible. We didn't really have any Bibles at that particular time. We're going to go back probably, let's say, 15 years. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she had an older Bible at home. So she brought it in, sent it to that gentleman. Didn't take long. Here came another request, another request, another request. And that leads us to where we are today. Today, we're buying Bibles. We're purchasing Bibles. You are purchasing Bibles right. for 3 ABN in the thousands. Yeah. If I can just take one Please. second, oh, yeah. one second. This is the number of take Bibles. <laughs> this is the number of Bibles that went out in 2020, uh, 2022, we sent out... Uh, 22 or 23? This is 2022, okay? okay? We sent out uh, Bibles, 4,000 Bibles. Wow. That's incredible. Amen. That's All lot. free of charge wow. to the prisoners. Mm -hmm. And they are requesting those from us. Mm -hmm. 2023, we sent out... 5,000 Bibles. Wow. wow. All because of people requesting. These are the type of letters that we may receive. First, I want to thank you. And this is from, this is from uh, our precious brothers and sisters in Christ. First, I want to thank you for the Andrew Study Bible. Currently, we have three different Bibles. This is the Andrew Study Bible. Fantastic Bible with all the fantastic works in it. I want to thank you for the Andrew Study Bible and my study guides. I think that you might have mentioned the study guides. They go hand in mm. hand, okay? Mm. And I am working on lessons 1 to 15 right now. I don't know if you could understand how much this helps me as time goes by. I love to dive into the study guides and slowly work through each section at a slow pace. Mm. I'm hungry for Jesus. Amen. Mm. Yeah, that's absolutely incredible. When you think about that, you're just uh, saying 4,000 in 2022, yeah. 5,000 in 2023. I mean, yeah. that's absolutely incredible. Yeah. And like JD said, it's it's you because we receive $10, $100, $1,000, $10,000, and people, you all love prison ministry and what mm -hmm. 3ABN is doing, getting these Bibles out because, like you said, very nice Bibles. These are not just I um, mean, these cheap are, newsprint yeah. Bible that you can barely read. These are very nice study these, Bibles. These are absolutely, this is the Remnant Study Bible. What we really like about the Remnant Study Bible is it's got helps in it also mm -hmm. that Miss sure White, she'll, yep. she helps pronounce it, uh, explain it a little bit more. Uh, this is Andrews. Andrews is our Seventh-day Adventist mm -hmm. uh, seminary, mm -hmm. and the, they're the ones that put these out. And the works are absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, just they have fantastic. They great notes in there for mm -hmm. study. Study helps. Mm -hmm. Study helps. Mm -hmm. These are the Bibles that are the new kid on the block. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these are coming from Sophocles, and so exciting. I mean, quality Bibles, mm -hmm. and it's got all the helps and everything in it, and the back and everything. It's, it explains it. And, of course, we're so excited about this right here. And I think that y'all have already talked about this. This is the Bible study guides. That goes out with each one of the Bibles, mm -hmm. okay? Let me just read this to you. I mean, okay. this is uh, now that we, uh, 5,000 of these went out last year, but that's not all that goes out because we had close to 10,000 Pieces of literature? Pieces of literature. Yeah, that's a lot. Now, what's a piece of literature? It's not just a, a piece of paper or something like this. It could be, I would like to thank, the, thank you for the books that I've already received. This is from Jody. Received from you. Patriarchs and Prophets. Mm -hmm. Patriarchs and Prophets about this thick. I mean, mm -hmm. this is a, a, 
a fantastic resource, Christ's Object Lessons, The Desire of Ages, mm -hmm. The Great Controversy. <laughs> so whenever we say literature, it's... Books. It's books. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I mean, absolutely fantastic book. I'd like to read to you maybe one more here. Oh, absolutely. First, I would like to thank you for sending me the Remnant Study Bible. Remember, the other mm -hmm. was Andrews. And now this is the Remnant Study Bible right here. The additional information added by E.G. White and the added study material in the front and back of the Bible has helped, has helped me better understand the messages and information provided in the Word. And not only have they read that, but with them came the book Education and Thoughts from the Mount of Blessings. Mm -hmm. And so, absolutely fantastic ministry. Yes. Because sometimes they have the time that they can actually dedicate mm -hmm. to being a true student of the Word. Mm -hmm. And now they're getting groups together because people want to know more about Jesus because it's got the, enough helps in it that they can understand mm -hmm. and they can break it down. Mm -hmm. And then you'll add on to that here in a little bit of how everything piggybacks piggybacks into its particular place. That's right. And so one le one more thing real quick. There's another letter from another someone letter. who's incarcerated. Yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, my name mm -hmm. is Kenneth. A brother that I worked with received one of your remnant study Bibles. I have been reading scripture for a while now, mm -hmm. but have never seen a Bible with such explanations and your rem as your uh, remnant study Bible. Please answer my prayer and send me a remnant study Bible. Oh, wow. It's amazing these letters that come in. You know, I'm 45 years old. I've wanted a Bible all my life, but I've never, no one has ever given me one. Mm -hmm. And so we're not sitting here, well, you know, you got to jump through three hoops and uh, run up the block three times. We might, <laughs> we might send you a Bible. If they want a Bible, they want to learn about Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. we, we, that's what we're here for. Amen. And I just want to brag quickly because of our department. I mean, if you, if you have not picked up yet, 3ABN is a true workhouse. <laughs> People work hard. Work yeah. hard. Dedicated. And yeah. uh, so <laughs> we're not just sitting back there, oh, I hope something comes in today. <laughs> you know, we, uh, hmm. I mean, it's just one, one, one. Then they, they, they just add. And yeah. by these numbers, you can tell. Uh, last year, the t total contact that we went out mm -hmm. with literature 41,443. Wow. In 2023. In 2023. This is specifically for inmates. Yes. Mm -hmm. Strictly for inmates. <laughs> I mean, so it's amazing. It's amazing what goes on in our little department. Now you move over here in this little department. <laughs> you go over here in this little department. Mm -hmm. And then we're a production company. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is... I was going to say this is the hobbies. They're not hobbies, mm -hmm. but this is the side that add on to uh, Three Angels Broadcasting Network. It's a huge aspect, actually, of Three Avian yeah. Prison Ministry, Three Avian Pastoral Ministries. It's yeah. absolutely phenomenal. And like it was mentioned, as far as the Bible's going out, that's a lot, 5,000. But that's a lot because that these are packaged, they're put in the envelopes, they go to the call center, the postage is put on them, whatever piece of the literature, then they go out. And we could not do this without you. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to me and it touches my heart because I see a lot of the correspondence and a lot of the stuff that comes through 3ABN as far as donations on many different size donations and it's amazing. Prison ministry, prison ministry, prison ministry. Well, now you know how that funds, how those funds are being used. We take it all seriously 100% it goes right into prison ministry from Bibles mm -hmm. to literature to postage to all the stuff that goes out mm -hmm. and it's free of charge to these inmates and many of them, like you said, have been longing for literature, for material, and now they finally get it and they don't have to pay for anything. And, uh, and, their, and their lives are being changed. What's incredible too is you, we hear the stories of the inmates where their life has been changed, changed, then they form their own Bible study group in the prison and that ripple, like you throw a stone into a pond and it gets bigger and bigger, grows and grows and grows within the prison. And then sometimes the prisoners, those that are incarcerated, they get moved to another prison or jail, mm -hmm. and then they start that ripple in that place. So it's just neat how God makes us grow and go, and it's, it's yeah. just great. Thank you for yeah. what you're doing, J.D. Great yeah. job. 
I'd like to end with this right here because I do believe this with all my heart. Jesus is coming soon. Amen. That's right. A lot of activity right now in the spiritual aspect of things. Yes, there's a lot of junk going on out there. The line is being drawn in the sand. Sure is. And so it is our responsibility if someone wants a closer walk with Jesus or who yeah. is this Jesus I've heard about in my whole life. <laughs> it is our responsibility and we take it very seriously to share. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah, we do. if you have, if the Lord through the aid of the Holy Spirit is prompting your heart, 3ABN is available. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. And we're only, oh, I'm not going, boy, this is a tough thing. I'm just going to say we're only, <laughs> we're dependent upon you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Yeah. Our plate is full mm -hmm. and your plates are full, <laughs> but the Lord blesses us all in a different way. If the Lord touches your heart to assist this ministry, mm -hmm. please don't hesitate. Follow his lead because you're not going to outgive God. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. You can call us right now That's at 618-627-4651 and say, yes, I want to support prison ministry Amen. at 3ABN. And I want my brothers and sisters who are incarcerated, who are lost and mm. alone without hope and help mm. in Jesus, those who are desperate seeking for answers or forgiveness or truth in the word. If you want to support that, you can call us right now or you can go online, 3abn.tv and you just click on the donate tab and the code for prison ministry is 436. So you can donate that way as well. JD referenced the Bible study guides um, and you and your team, I just want to say do an yes, amazing do. job. What an incredible mm -hmm. team we have upstairs in pastoral and in pastoral prison ministry. These Bible study guides We've talked about them before. There's 14 lessons in this first set and we are making them available for prisoners. So we're ordering a special set without the staples so that then um, some of the prisons will accept it with the staples, but some of them say they won't accept it. So in order to make it across the board where it can go into any prison or jail in the United States, we've ordered a special set that have the glue binding. And um, those will be coming here. They're being shipped in the next couple of weeks from China, and then they have to take the shipment over here. And then we'll have them available, and we can distribute them to the prisoners. But Pamela, let's come to you, Pam. <laughs> so you were with Ben um, just last week, and um, you took with Lemuel Vega and yes. Christmas Behind Bars, 5,000 of these, but yes. they weren't all assembled and put together. So talk to us about what happened. Sure. So when we got there, there was a room and there were about maybe less than 15 men that were there. And they were all helping um, in a line and just going through. Each person took one after the other and they were um, giving them to the next person and they were packaging them and they were putting them in boxes and they were excited because <laughs> they're all going um, to other prisoners that they were able to give it to. So it was a teamwork effort of all of them at the table and they were smiling and just excited. <laughs> nice. We were excited to see them excited. So. It's kind of like an assembly line. Because yeah, it, it was. <laughs> it kind of came like bulk packed. Like, I don't know how many, what is it? Boxes. 250, 200 in a case, like yes. of less than one, of less than two, of less than three, of less than four. And so they're going through picking up less than one, less than two. Less yep, than two. <laughs> and they're yeah. just walking each through it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. There's an incredible video because we're going to watch, look at a number of videos and yes. some of the testimonies from when, when you all were there. Should we go to that one video where they're packing the lessons? Do you want to go to that, that one, one now? Okay, let's go to that. Idea. Oh yeah, and I should mention this before we go to it. Uh, this is behind the scenes, maybe a little relaxed. So uh, <laughs> Lemuel Vega with Christmas Behind Bars was there, opened up that door to get into yes. that jail there, that prison to uh, uh, make this happen. Absolutely incredible. We love Brother Lemuel yes. and mm. Christmas Behind Bars. <laughs> we support him. Jill and I personally, I'm sure many of you all mm -hmm. do too, but he was there and just does an incredible work Amen. with prison ministry Amen. and a great support of 3ABN's prison ministry as well. But there's a really great role that you, Pam, and Ben did, your husband. Yes. And uh, <laughs> let's go to that right now. have now had the opportunity to see our friends who are in prison 
actually assembling these lessons. They put 14 of these in each one of these nice packages. And for you at home, we ask you can order these to send to your community, to your friends, to your Bible study group, to your prayer group. So you can actually order you a case. Now they're not gonna be put together by our friends behind bars because the work they've done here today are gonna go to other prisons. But you can order these at home, get your set. There's 10 in the case. Pick up the phone and call today and get you a set ordered that you can start an evangelistic ministry, maybe not behind bars, but to bring hope to a dark and dying world. After all, that's what 3ABN is all about, bringing hope and healing to broken people. Incredible footage, right, Jay? I mean, Absolutely. you've done a lot of prison ministry work, but to see the those incarcerated right there yes. behind bars, putting the lesson packs together. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's really giving them a sense of purpose, too. They're doing something for other people that are in their situation, and mm -hmm. um, I think it's, it's really beneficial for everyone who's involved in that. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We love Brother Lemuel. Oh. So appreciate the partnership between 3ABN and Christmas Behind Bars, and it's so exciting to think 5,000 of these are now put together, and they'll be distributed to other inmates within the prison, mm -hmm. and the prisoners put them together. So, Pam, talk to us. What was it like? This is your second time going in yes. behind bars. Yes. What is it like going there, and how how does it impact your life? So at first, and the first time that I went, I was pretty nervous <laughs> because, you know, you go there and you don't know what to expect. Um, but a lot of them are so open mm -hmm. to listening and mm -hmm. there are those few that are more standoffish <laughs> and that's okay. Um, but being there was such a blessing. I really enjoyed watching them put everything together and they were so willing to do that. and. Whenever I leave there, the past two times that I was there and I left, I just felt like I was such a big part in mm. something of yeah. other people and just sharing God's love that, you know, treating them with kindness and just being loving to them shows that they're cared for and they're loved and especially by God. He loves them and despite their mistakes, we all mm -hmm. sin yeah, and just being there is, yeah, just so humbling <laughs> to be there. Amen. Amen. Um, I really enjoy it. So <laughs> then, so it kind of, because we're going to go to some testimonies because you all yes. shot, uh, uh, recorded a couple of uh, testimonies from mm -hmm. some of the inmates there, but uh, your day started about like eight o'clock yes. right there when putting all these lessons together with the those that are incarcerated and went to about what, 12, one o'clock? It was about afternoon. almost one. Mm -hmm. yep. Almost one. So they assembled these 5,000 sets in a hurry. Yeah, uh, they, they, were they were quick. quick. <laughs> <laughs> they were quick. They were packing them up and then they were super excited to be recorded and they were asking like, where can we see this and when can we see it and can our families watch it? Absolutely, and that was they can. really cool yeah. that they were excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So some of the testimonies, maybe set up one of the testimonies. Which one do you want to go to uh, first? Sure. Which... Um, I think Jacob we should do first. His was okay. a little bit longer, but he was super enthusiastic. He was the one asking like, when can my family see it? Um, but he, what was really cool in each of the interviews was they had all been able to view the lessons, so mm -hmm. they talked about which one impacted them the most. Oh, man. And I think that is really cool because mm. they actually got to see them and study them. And yeah. so for some of them, it was about their families and um, things like that, so yeah. Good, okay, <laughs> so, so yeah, yeah let's go later. to Jacob's uh, interview right now. Hello, my name is Jacob Hansel. I'm here at Putnamville Correctional Facility. I just wanted to thank the 3ABN Broadcasting Network for giving us the opportunity to give back. They provided these uh, wonderful Bible studies that they've given us to be able to help package and give back to the other people in different states to help them have a little bit of hope in their life. I personally gave my life to Jesus Christ 10 years ago, and I have not looked back. It's only because of God's grace am I here today to be able to be, I just celebrated 10 years of sobriety. I've gotten my uh, bachelor's in Christian education. I'm currently working for my master's degree. And without God in my life, I would not be able to be able to stand here and not only give my testimony, but be able to want to sit here and try to help others. I found two things really particular as I was looking over these uh, studies is one, when I was in the county jail, if it wasn't for studies like this, I would never have taken the first steps I needed in order to get back on the path that I needed to not only clean up my life, but get sober. So the battle for you and, and booklet one really spoke to me because God 
he, he, he left a 99 to come get me. And without that, I would be broken still. And I thank God that he loved me enough to not only die on the cross for me, but to search for me. I also want to say that without God's love and liberty, as described in book four, that I would have no freedom over my bondages, over my sicknesses, over my addictions. I wouldn't be able to have repaired bridges with my family. So I study the word diligently every day, not only to help myself, but to help others as I push forward in my walk for Jesus Christ. So thank you, 3ABN, for giving us the opportunity. Wow. Praise the Lord. What a powerful testimony, Pam. It right, really everyone was. else? That was, mm -hmm. that was yeah. very touching. And he earned his bachelor's degree. Yeah. And he's working on his <laughs> master's degree. Yes. Yep. I mean, that's We're huge. Shocked. And yep. studying the Word of God daily. Yes. Isn't that something? Yes. Yep. That's incredible. And God giving him victory over addiction. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Ten yeah. years yeah. of sobriety. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. a blessing. Do you know what sticks out to me, too? Did you see the excitement, how excited he was to be helping other people with evangelism with these lesson guides? Mm-hmm. It's actually a <laughs> conviction to me some as I think about it. You know what? I'm technically, in a sense, free, right? I'm not behind bars like maybe they are, uh -huh. but am I excited about evangelism and doing my best to share this with others? No. I hate to say it, at times I'm not. <laughs> and now that's a rebuke to me. So, uh, Jacob, wow, what a powerful testimony. Yeah. And I think it spoke to you too at home. And I want to tell you that this evening the call center is open. You know, uh, Lemuel mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, get out and get involved yourself. Well, we have these lesson study guides available. We have, like we mentioned, a prison version, but we also have the regular Bible study set that you can get involved in maybe a Bible study or maybe just your own walk with the Lord. You know, you want to go through these personally yourself in your own privacy of your own home. And then once you feel comfortable, like, you know what, I'm going to get more of these and share these with my church, with my local community, with, I mean, Bible studies, opportunities yes. are all around us all the time. So mm -hmm. I just kind of, I'm going to get off my soapbox, I guess they say. <laughs> but that was great, Jacob. I, I encouraged, that encouraged me. Great yes, testimony. That was so great good. testimony. Yes. I mm. love how um, when Daniel Perrin wrote these lessons, yes, the first lesson God. being on the great controversy, you know, that battle for us. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. that's so important yep. because there's a battle for everyone's soul. Oh, there you is. Know? And we uh, need to make a decision. Choose you this day mm -hmm. whom you will serve. So as you reference the Bible lessons, I just want to say you can download them for free that's good at too. 3ABN's website right now if you want to get involved in Bible study or you can order them. Um, it's $25 suggested donation for 10 of these sets and that includes the shipping. Yeah, so you amazing. can't beat that. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. You could order 10 sets and use them in Bible study guides in your community. Yep. Pam, talk to us. What's another role we want to look at? Sure. The second one, um, I don't remember his name, sorry. <laughs> um, he also was just super excited about he said it was important because of his family and mm -hmm. just mending it with his family. Um, mm -hmm. I can't remember which book it was that he read, but he was super excited and said that it meant a lot to him. Um, so yeah. yeah, good. I okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, let's go to then roll number two and enjoy this testimony. Mm -hmm. I've actually looked through some of these and the one that really sticks out to me is being in prison and incarcerated. One of the very few things that we have a chance to do is work on ourselves and our image um, for you know whatever purpose that we may have. And the best thing that I could think of was the diet plan and healthy living suggestions that are given in the Bible. And book, booklet number seven, Bible study number seven, comes up with a lot of really good ideas. And it just reminds us of what's good for our body. And there is no better way to worship, I think, than to provide a good temple. Um, so whenever I got incarcerated, I came and reread the Bible and recommitted my life and have accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior once again. So reading the Bible has really helped me focus and reposition my life and give me a new direction. I'm putting these pamphlets together and trying to give back so that somebody else could receive the same kind of inspiration that I did. So once again, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Amen. Wow. Amen. What joy on their faces, right? And he wants to give back as well. Oh, yes. I right. love that. He talked about study number seven, which is called A Healthy You. And it's all about how God wants um, our bodies to be his temple. Yeah. And it starts by giving back. Mm -hmm. I mean, if ever, everybody needs to give back. Why is that important? Well, <laughs> it's being I don't, selfless, isn't it? Not no, certainly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I have just, just personally learned over the years that you just, you're blessed 
-hmm. beyond you're, measure. You're just blessed, you know, because you've done something that uh, that's right. It's the right thing to do is mm -hmm. to be able to share and give back. Mm -hmm. You know, I've heard I've heard in the past that um, one of the quickest ways to get over depression is to help somebody, to wow. do something good for somebody, some charitable work. And so, you know, seeing them giving back, mm -hmm. we don't know what their experience is or what, what their experience has been like, but that now they have the opportunity to introduce somebody to life. Yeah, eternal. To a eternal life, which is, you know, when, when you talk about life, and sometimes when we start having these conversations, we have to be mindful of what we're saying, yeah. because in the context of confinement, mm. you don't typically want to hear life. Mm. Correct. You know, but, but in this instance, we're talking about introducing them to Christ mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, helping them find eternal life mm -hmm. and victory in Christ. And that's, Amen. that's powerful. Yeah, it sure is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We have another one more, right? Yep. Testimony. These are great. <laughs> Thank you for you and Ben doing this. Yes, you guys did a great job. Yes. Thank yes. you. <laughs> yep. The last one was very similar. Okay. Just, um, I can't remember what pamphlet he had as well, but just, um, he was the one that was super excited about mending it with his family. Okay, yes. good. All right, let's go to roll number three. Hello, my name is Richard. Uh, I'm working with 3ABN and packaging up pamphlets to be passed out to offenders in Florida. Um, the one that I read back in the dorm that really resonated with me was pamphlet six, where it was talking about with, uh, with using God's principles, I have a better relationship with my family, which for me is a big deal. I know in living the lifestyle I've lived, I've burned a lot of bridges with my relationship with my family, and that's one thing I really want to repair. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to give back to people. I don't want, I want to kind of change the people's mentality that, you know, people in prison or just in here doing whatever, don't really care about or feel remorse, feel remorse for what they've done in the past. So that's why I'm doing this. Wow, yeah. So touching, you know, so ex so excited about uh, what they're able to do to help others, mm -hmm. but also what they're learning in these study guides, too, which is just absolutely fantastic. And, uh, you know, he touched on the family he aspect, did. too. Mm -hmm. You know, I had the opportunity, this is several years ago, to do a jail ministry with mm -hmm. the woman here in the Benton County Jail locally. Um, we did that for five years, going in on a Monday night and ministering to the woman. And I think one of the biggest concerns for the woman there was family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My kids, they'd say, Jill, my kids. I'll never forget one woman saying, Jill, would you take my kids? Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I'm here and I can't take care of them. Mm -hmm. And um, they're just broken hearted because those relationships are so broken like this gentleman we just heard. But praise the Lord, he can bring healing and he can work mm -hmm. to mend. Even if we've made mistakes, he can still work to mend those bridges. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. You know, Pam, uh, you know, this is, uh, and we just appreciate, of course, you and Ben and, and all, all the employees here at 3ABN. We're all family working together for one cause, mm -hmm. one goal. But um, I, I didn't hear you all. You didn't complain, at least to, to us, about getting <laughs> up at 2.45 in the morning <laughs> yep. and uh, driving up there, you know, getting all the shots and everything. And then you actually were there to record and get these testimonies. But what was, to me, was a really beautiful thing is that uh, you and your husband, I know you're trying to record it, but uh, did a little worship. Maybe, yeah, service. we got a little yes. B-roll of that. Maybe we could roll that, but let's talk to us a little bit about that as we roll this B-roll now. Sure. Yeah, what took place there. Absolutely. So Lemuel called him and he's like, Ben, can you bring your guitar? And Ben's like, sure. And when we got there, he's like, we're going to have a worship. And Ben is always willing. <laughs> so he was like, sure. So he spoke with Lemuel and Ben found that Amazing Grace was the best song for them, mm -hmm. um, showing God's grace and their chains are broken mm -hmm. and that God can set them free. And so they were sitting there and singing and most wow. of the inmates were enjoying it, singing with them as well. You can see there. Oh yeah. Um, Talk to us about the empty chair. Yeah, the empty chair was for someone who feels like they're lost and there's always a seat for them that mm -hmm. God is always welcoming them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lemuel came up with that and that was such a blessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thank you for not only just going and uh, recording and you know getting this to me, which is just so important, but also being willing to minister yes. also to the inmates as well, having Absolutely. a worship service uh, with them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what it's all about, right? It's about giving back. Like you were talking about that, J.D., you know, being uh, selfless and being willing to share uh, with others. But uh, thank you. I, I don't know. Just yeah. let me take just a second. Please, because no, talking about minutes. prison ministry, yeah. 
is uh, Lemuel is a great example. Isn't he though? <laughs> Lemuel made some mistakes when he was a young, young man. Mm -hmm. He ends up behind bars and no one paid any attention. You know, Christmas time would come and... Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. And he just, you know, he made a covenant with the Lord. Lord, if you'll get me out of here, mm -hmm. I'll do better. I want to give back. And he kept his word and he didn't have anything, got out, still didn't have anything, but he would save his little candy bars that people would give him and then he would turn around and he'd go to the local jail and mm -hmm. I'd like you to have this. Have something, mm -hmm. a gift. Because I know what it's like to not have anyone in your life. Mm -hmm. And that's been 20 years. Yes. Oh. Now. I mean, this is unbelievable, but we mentioned you can't outgive God. Yeah. He made a covenant. Now he goes and gets car loads, yeah. truck loads, 18-wheeler loads, <laughs> loads <laughs> and handed it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. He's probably sick and tired and sick and tired of candy, <laughs> but he made a covenant. I want them to have because this is what I promised that I would do. Mm -hmm. And I know that we have people call in to us that they are broken hearted, that they don't know what to do. And as, as we mentioned a while ago, you know, can't tell you how to live your life. Something you got to do yourself. But I have found out that if you can turn around and go down, maybe go to the hospital and see if you can volunteer. Mm -hmm. Maybe go to the county and say, hey, is there something that I can do? And see how the doors open up. Mm -hmm. Make yourself available Make to the Lord. Make yourself available. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, in talking about these Bible study guys, and we're just so excited about the Bible study guys, Jill was mentioning about about the whole brand new prison version of these, which basically is the same study guides. There's a couple mm -hmm. things on the back page that we've changed a little bit about uh, how they can reach out and get further help. But is that right? That would be correct, yeah, okay. absolutely. And we changed a couple of the mm -hmm. offers too that would yeah. be more appropriate, something mm -hmm. that would resonate more with the sure. inmates. And so they're, they're coming without staples because we have found that some <laughs> prisons won't allow these Bible study guides into the prison because mm -hmm. of the staples. So we said, okay, so we found a, a praise the Lord for uh, Sophilee's being able to find a, a publisher, a printer that could actually print them and do a glue binding on such a thin magazine for a very reasonable price. You know, those criteria, <laughs> right? They could do the glue uh -huh. binding, but for a reasonable price with the beautiful envelopes, because that was the other yes. thing too. Let's, in behind bars, let's send them everything. The very nice yes. envelope that they can keep them uh, in when they're studying the uh, Bible. But we're getting, as Jill mentioned, 125,000 sets. Hmm. That comes up to 1.7 million study guides. Hmm. Wow. Amen. We need your help hmm. because they are coming bulk packed in the boxes. Like you saw Pamela and Ben got this footage. We're going to have close to, now this is why we say you need your help, because right around 3 a.m. camp meeting time that we talked about the first hour, June 5 through 8, hopefully by God's grace, we will actually have these new study guides here bulk packed hmm. And we need help of people putting them together. Lesson one, Amen. two, three, four, five, up to 14, stuffing them in an envelope, putting them into a box. And so we'll need your help. So Jill, the best way for people, if they're gonna come a little early before camp meeting, I'm saying maybe come a week or two before camp yes. meeting, especially if you have an RV, that's perfect because you can just park your <laughs> RV out in your spot, help us put the study guys together, and then you go right into camp meeting. But that's what's right. the best way to let us know? I would call us. The call okay. center is open yeah, right good. now. You could give us a call at 618-627-4651. When you reserve your RV spot, you can just say, I want to volunteer and I want to come early. And this way we can just jot your name down and be prepared for you to come early and help us in the call center putting these study guides oh, together and volunteering. So call us at 618-627-4651. Or you can always send us an email, mail, M-A-I-L, at 3ebn.tv. That's mail at 3bn.tv and you can just say, I'm going to come early and yeah. I want to volunteer to help put together these study guides for prisoners. Mm -hmm. So 
What a blessing to be able to partner yeah. with Lemuel. I think you might find me down there a few times too, uh, <laughs> putting some of these lesson studies together for an hour or two. It'd be fun to do yes. that. It's great. And they also need to reserve a spot. Is that if they, if right. they do have Those an are RV? Running out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those are running out. That's right, because we have a good response already to Amen. people reserving Praise their God. RV spots. So yes. speaking of Lemuel and the partnership with Christmas Behind Bars, Lemuel does an incredible job, oh, Jason, yes. on Unshackled Purpose. Mm -hmm. So talk to us about new season coming out here. Absolutely. So first off, I love working with Lemuel. You know, when you see him in action, when he's in <laughs> prison or jail, he's amazing. and he gets to share in the gospel, like his face just lights up and he, you got to go with him. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. It's right, simple Pamela? as that. Yeah. You have to go That's with good. him and, and see him in action. But Unshackled Purpose, wonderful program. It's, it's basically like Christ object lessons, but in a prison setting. And so Lemuel will take, you know, objects that are readily available to uh, our incarcerated brothers and sisters and he'll, he'll draw uh, a lesson out of it um, that points them to Christ. I mean, he can take something as simple as toilet paper. I've seen that example. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yep. he can, he can. He talks about this that. is used for cleaning up messy situations, yes. right? Messy and, external situations. Yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. And yes. then how he then write, relates it right to the spiritual. Yes. Then he says, you know, the word. but we need Christ to clean up our messy internal situations. Right. We can't, we can't do that on our own. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it's really powerful. Where, where are you oh, going to Exactly. And I'm agreeing with you. Oh, I'm yes. Sorry. Yeah, I'm all into what you're saying. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I, I love seeing him in action. The other thing he'll do now, this, this isn't supposed to be readily available in prison or jail, but sometimes it finds its way in there, but cash, right? So wow. he may take like a, a $20 bill or something like that and crumple it up. He'll, well, he'll hold it up first and he'll say, well, who wants this $20 bill? And of course, everybody's hands <laughs> go up because it's like gold in there. And um, so then he crumples it and he says, who, who wants this $20 bill now? And hands still go up and then he'll throw it on the ground and step on it and get it a little dirty. And then he picks it up and he says, who wants this $20 bill? Hands still go up and he says, well, why do, why do you still want it? It's been stepped on, it's rumpled, it's crumpled, it's dirty, it's, mm. it's been battered, all of these things. Why do you still want this $20 bill? And he says, because it still holds its value. Yes. Amen. And in yeah. the eyes of God, each and every one of you Powerful. still hold Amen. value mm -hmm. in his eyes. You've been rumpled, you've been crumpled, you're mm -hmm. dirty stepped on the on. inside and all of that stepped on and, mm -hmm. and, but you still hold value in the eyes of God. Praise God. And so he shares these, these illustrations and then I share some things as well, but you know, Unshackled purpose, it, it teaches them that even while you're incarcerated, mm -hmm. you still have purpose and God still has a work for you Amen. to do. We actually have a clip um, yeah. from season three. Powerful, powerful messages. And yeah, should we go to that now, Jason? Absolutely. Okay, great. All right, let's go to the unshackled role right now. I noticed I felt something for the first time in my life. It was love. I didn't even know what love was, man had no clue. He showed up when nobody else cared what I was. Nobody else was looking for me. Nobody else knew what was going on inside me. And he showed up and done something that nothing else could do. And here I am today telling somebody that doesn't have no hope sometimes that there is hope. No matter where you're at, no matter what's going on, the Bible says that a righteous man falls seven times. And what makes a man righteous that falls seven times is that he gets up. I refuse to let whatever the enemy has to offer me stop me from giving back to God what he has for me. Addiction is, is an evil enemy and when it consumes you, it's hard to get out of its grip. One of my favorite scripture verses is Hebrews 13, verse three. Remember those in prison as if you were in prison with them. Remember those who are being mistreated as if you felt their pain too. That's one of my most favorite scripture verses out of the word. I'm 31 years old now and through the life of addiction, I've woken up more and you know, this is as long as I've been away from my family. I see my daughter every night, I miss her. 
I miss my family, I miss my grandmother. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for illuminating our path, Father, for uh, giving us your word so that we can study it and learn about your character and ultimately reflect your character to the world. Brothers, that's solid. That's gold, man. That's real. That's the power. Even though I'm incarcerated, I mean, I could be negative and, and, and dwell in the past, but through, through God, I found joy. I mean, you can find joy every day. You can wake up happy. These guys have heard this numerous times, but these walls here represent external boundaries, right? When you do not have internal ones, you need external ones. And so what we're trying to do is we're trying to build, help them build internal boundaries based on the Word of God and God's principles so that they no longer need external ones because Amen. those internal ones are built. They'll be free indeed. That's right. Oh, awesome. Our Father, our, our Father, Father, which art in heaven, which which are in heaven, heaven hallowed, be thy name. hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come thy will be done. Thy will, will be done. done. On earth, on earth, as it is in heaven, as it is in heaven, give us this day, give us this day, our daily bread, our daily bread, and forgive us for our trespasses, and forgive us for our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, but deliver us from evil, thou the kingdom, thou the kingdom, power, the power, and the glory, and the glory, forever and ever, forever and ever, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oof, that's powerful there at the end, isn't it? Amen. Wow. Yes, it gave me Lord. chills. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, me too. Unshackled Purpose. Praise the Lord. What a great mm -hmm. um, program. Thank yes. you so much for leading out in that. It Praise airs on 3ABN, of course, um, Dare to Dream. And it's available on demand at 3ABNplus.tv or on your 3ABN Plus app. We have season one and two out. And season three will be edited and will be coming out. We just don't have a projected date yet. Yes, not yeah. yet. Not yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I noticed there, good seed has been sown in those kids, those gentlemen's lives someplace along the way. You know, you could just tell that the that the word was coming back out, that mm -hmm. the grandma's, the word that grandma maybe had put in them and their dad and their mother and everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, God works in mysterious ways. True. You know, so true. I mean, I know, I think that every one of us could say we should have gone right when we left a time <laughs> or two. Mm -hmm. And it's only by the grace of God, perhaps, that we're not behind bars ourselves. Yes. Yes. Good and point. so uh, this is absolutely wonderful that mm -hmm. We have been put in a position that we can assist others and give them a second chance. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jason, tell us a little bit about the interlust boxes. I know those have been going into prisons, continue to go into prisons and jails yes. and recover. Or we have midway, halfway house, houses, halfway houses, halfway houses yes. transitional homes. Yes. And you just Thank came you. back also from um, Florida too. Yes. So tell us about both of those. Oh man. So over, you know, during like in December, you know, some people go to GYC from 3ABN, and then, you know, I was I got on a Zoom call, or a, a, I think yeah, it was a Zoom with Dr. John Mills, and he works in the Florida Conference Office. He's the Associate Director for General Administration at the Florida Conference Office, and we were talking. He was he's oversees one of the many ministries he oversees is prison ministry, and so we were talking about prison ministry, and he wanted to include the MySDA TV interlist system in their uh, initiative uh, to reach those men and women that are incarcerated. And so we were having this discussion and I shared a little bit of my testimony with him about how I almost ended up being a resident at one point. And um, so he extended the invitation to me to be the keynote speaker at a Florida conference banquet. Mm. Well, praise God, God has opened so many tremendous doors and Dr. Mills ended up meeting like the head chaplain over the whole state of Florida. And so he's working with him to open up the state of Florida to receive wow. the these devices. The and what state. are these devices? Mm -hmm. these if people de don't know, what are they? Absolutely, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so these devices contain 3,901 Christian lifestyle television programs. Uh, we have celebrating life and recovery, financial literacy programs, um, 
preaching, Bible prophecy, music, parenting, all kinds of programs designed to equip them with the gospel of Jesus Christ and practical tools for living. It's 100% free to the facility. It can hook up to their closed circuit television system, go throughout the, the prison or the jail and um, just reach so many people with the gospel. You know, when they're incarcerated, they can either have crime or they can have Christ. Mm -hmm. And so what That's we want right. to do is equip yeah. them with Christ. Amen. We want to share the gospel with them. Mm. And what I've found in going into these facilities is I found that some of them are more free than some of us on the outside. This is true. There are some people that are on the outside that are so, they're, they're in shackles and they're incarcerated mm -hmm. and God wants to liberate them. Mm -hmm. I remember I was in one facility in Indiana and uh, this, this gentleman, he said that, you know, we need to get to the point and he realized this in his own life. He said, I need to get to the point where I, I stopped treating God's word as cake for special occasions, mm. Mm. but treat it as bread for daily use. Amen. My mind was blown. Yeah. When I tell you, you go into some of these facilities and you meet people that could be teaching at, yeah. uh, you know, theology, <laughs> Mm -hmm. it, it is absolutely amazing. God is doing a tremendous work behind bars and I'm so mm. thankful that 3ABN's prison ministry That's team That's is mm -hmm. getting the gospel out there. And we couldn't do it without you. Your help has been instrumental in getting the gospel out there. And I just want to give a quick shout out to Luis and Mary Rodriguez, who also helped us get one of the interlist systems into Augusta State Medical Prison. Medical and prison. yes, and, and so I'm so thankful for all of the people who have reached out to support this wonderful uh, initiative mm. that we have going on. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am also praising the Lord for 3ABN's prison ministry. It's an yeah. incredible aspect to the ministry of 3ABN. I also want to say thank you, Pamela, and then the rest of the crew that uh, have gone in to get Unshackled Purpose, all this footage. Yes. You know, you a lot of work goes on behind the scenes to bring this footage <laughs> back out of the prisons and then so that you can enjoy it and be blessed. Yes. You know, again, we're just talking here as family and uh, we've talked about it, JD, talked about it too, and Jason, all of us. And that is if you're feeling impressed with the Holy Spirit to support prison ministry, mm -hmm. the call center is open this evening or whatever. If you want to pray about it and send in a check, you know, of course, we still accept checks here at 3 a.m. But we've <laughs> talked about the Bible study guides, 125,000 yeah. sets, Bibles by the thousands going out. Yeah. We're talking about the interlust systems, all of this free of charge to the prisoners. And that can only happen. And it's amazing to me. It can only happen. I'm going to back up. That should not amaze me. You know that? Yeah. Because yeah. the Lord is a good God and it's all about evangelism. So it shouldn't amaze me. God provides the needs. So yeah. all of this is possible because of you. You felt that's impressed right. of the Holy Spirit to give yeah. and you have. And that's how 125,000 sets are going out. Thousands of Bibles, J.D., in the last few years going out. Postage paid to the prisoners. Jason, hundreds of these interlust systems are going yeah. out. Right, free we, of charge. We started with 250, yeah. we only have 95 left. Yeah, that's amazing, <laughs> yeah. And, and those will be probably mm -hmm. going pretty quickly. Florida is oh, opening yeah. up. <laughs> yep, so Jill mentioned you can reach out to the call center, you can go on our website, but I think it's code 436 it's prison is prison ministry. And mm -hmm. so we just thank you and I will guarantee you, prisoners, those that are incarcerated, men and women, will thank you too. And many of them I know that's would just right hug you and say thank you so very much for letting this material come into our facility. So thank you for being a part of this aspect of the ministry of 3ABN. Amen. Amen. I want to just reference, this is kind of behind the scenes, switching gears from prison ministry. We are launching a brand new program on 3ABN called 3ABN Ignite. Uh, Pam, this is your dad's brainchild, we could say. Yes. You know, he came up with the Ian Vandervalk. He came up with a proposal for 3ABN Ignite, which is, we do a lot of preaching. We do a lot of teaching, but this is specific practical Christianity mm -hmm. and how you and I can be spirit filled and inspired and motivated and equipped and encouraged to move forward. So the very first, it's a mini series that will be um, streaming live on 3BN's YouTube account. Mm -hmm. So you can comment back. We'll do the live moderation and comments. And then it'll air the following weekend on broadcast for those of you who missed it on YouTube. So it launches, Pastor John Lomacain is doing the first mini series. It's a three-part series, the first one um, launched 
launching there on YouTube. So we're looking forward to that. Oh, absolutely. I think the really the neat part about this YouTube aspect and the live broadcast on that is the community yes. with the commentation, you know, the commentators. Com ugh, did I get that out? Commentators? Mo moderators. moderators. That's it. Yes, thank you for helping me out on that. <laughs> That's going to be fun because there's interaction because, you know, a lot of times you just see us and it's like, right. oh, I can't really communicate. But here you can do that. And so the best way to do that is to become what is a subscriber to Threevian's right. YouTube channel. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's pretty easy to do. Just go on YouTube and become go a subscriber. Go to three, uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. type in 3 ABN, yeah. and you just hit the subscribe. Yes, right. yep, absolutely. Well, we've only got a, a minute left, and I just want to say thank you, Jason, for mm -hmm. your leadership and what you're doing. JD, thank you so much for mm -hmm. uh, the great leadership there, especially with prison ministry. Mm -hmm. Pamela, thank you for being yeah. willing, you and your husband, to jump in and do whatever is needed here at the ministry of 3 ABN. You're making a tremendous cool. impact. And uh, Joe, I'll let you close this out, but it's a blessing to be in ministry together with you, too, yes. here at 3ABN and uh, we're just grateful to be in ministry with you at home. Yes. Thank you so much for being a part of 3ABN. What a blessing. Amen. I want to close with a scripture Great. in Romans 6. Now having been set free from sin, mm. you become slaves mm. to righteousness. So this works for those in prison, but it works for you and I who are out of prison, who maybe are in addiction to sin. God wants to set you free. Mm -hmm. He wants to set each one of us free from addiction and from those things. And he wants to deliver us and we can That's follow right. Jesus. So join us next week. We love you and pray for you. Amen. Good job. <laughs>